Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Nods here. We're back with another video and today I'm going to be going over my top favorite PCI settings for you guys to look at and maybe try if a PCI setting is not working for you. Maybe try looking at mine if you like the looks of it and give it a whirl. Maybe it'll change things for you. Now, obviously all of these PCI settings are going to be set through strike zone. We're just going to be going through different looks of the PCI and um, I think that's very important to a lot of people out there and certain PCIs don't you know fit everybody my PCI might not be the best for you a different PCI that I show you in this video might work out better for you and I know a lot of times whenever people are going through slumps I know they like to change up the PCI and that'll slowly get you out of that slump so maybe one of these will help you out so first things first looking at the PCI center I always keep this at diamonds now you can go to circles circles looks a little bit different it is very similar though but for whatever reason i feel very comfortable with diamonds so really all we're going to be doing is adjusting the pci inner and outer and maybe the color and maybe the transparency as well so let's look at pci number one okay so pci number one is obviously what you guys see here diamonds basic on the inner and then nothing on the outer and then my PCI color is yellow at 60% transparency. So let's go look at that. So here's what the PCI looks like at a live view. It's a pretty basic one. Uh, nothing too crazy. Gives you good vision of the ball. And you know you don't have too much going on. Nothing on the outside. Doesn't take up too much space. It doesn't cover the ball. And the transparency is just right. You know, it's not too dark and it's not too light either. All right, so going to PCI number two. This is what I like to do sometimes when I'm not uh, hitting the ball well, if I'm not seeing it very well. I like to just take off the PCI enter and do nothing but diamonds. Now you can also do circles here as well. It's probably just as effective, but I like to keep it at yellow and 60% transparency. Let's go look at it. All right, so here's a look of the diamonds without the inner PCI. I like this one a little bit because you can see the ball a little bit better. I like to switch this up when I'm on All-Star when the PCI is way too big. It actually covers the ball up a little bit. And using just these diamonds is just perfect on those difficulties where your PCI is huge. So I recommend trying that. Moving on to PCI number three, and this one's gonna be a doozy. Stay, stay with me on this one. Um, this is for those people that are having a very hard time seeing the ball. A lot of times people out there will focus on their PCI way too much. They'll focus in on their PCI and that's all they'll look at. They won't be looking at the pitcher. Now, I only recommend this for people that are not seeing the ball well. Turn off your PCI. I know it sounds crazy, but t I'm telling you, try it. Especially when you're in that strike zone uh, hitting view, you can really see the ball a lot better. There's nothing there to distract you. The only thing that you can see is the pitcher and the ball. So you just have to imagine in your head that there is a PCI there. But again, I only recommend this for players that are really having a hard time seeing the ball. I recommend this, again, mainly for those people struggling out there. Really get a feel for the ball and see it all the way in. If you're looking at your PCI way too much, maybe try this for a little bit. All right, so our next PCI we're gonna go over is obviously still diamonds. Our inner, we're actually gonna keep that at none and we're gonna turn on our outer. I like to switch it to reverb because it makes it actually look a little bit bigger. And then I like to change my color here to white and then keep the transparency at 60%. I like to always keep my PCI at 60% transparency because it's it's just enough color. You know, It's not too bright, it's not too uh, faint either. It's just right. So. I recommend this PCI for the people that have a hard time on the Hall of Fame difficulty or even the Legend difficulty. This PCI is going to look a lot bigger to you. So for those people that struggle going to Hall of Fame and see your PCI and you think it's way too small, try this one out. It'll make it look a lot bigger. So let's look at it. Okay, so as you can see here, it looks like my PCI is huge when it's really not. It's just my outer part of the PCI is showing and it just makes it look like you're covering a lot more space 
and you feel a lot more comfortable at the plate. So yeah, I definitely recommend trying this on those Hall of Fame and Legend difficulties. I don't recommend doing this on the Veteran and All-Star because this will take up a lot of space and you won't be able to see the ball very well. Okay, so moving on to our next PCI. This is a good one. This is a little bit different. I actually used this one for a little bit and it, it worked out pretty well. And this one's pretty similar to the Diamonds one, but it is a little bit bigger than what the Diamonds one looked like. So that's just altitude. So this is good for people that, you know, don't like to have that inner and outer PCI, but they want to just have that center one. But you also think that the diamond one is too small and that's altitude. So let's go look at altitude real quick. As you can see here, it is bigger than the diamond one that I showed you earlier. So it gives you a little bit more comfortability uh, using this altitude one. It looks a little bit bigger. It's almost like a little... Uh, jet crosshair it's pretty cool so i recommend trying that next pci is the pci inner uh wedge and nothing else no center no outer color obviously is up to you um i'm not gonna harp too much on the color because i i'm i'm an original guy i like to play on the yellow the yellow is what the pci used to always look like i don't like to change this much uh the yellows that i might recommend out there other than yellow is uh let's see cyan is a good one uh white is a good one i'm not a big fan of it a lot of people use white i don't like white because it's the same color as the ball and it kind of throws me off black is an okay one as well but sometimes it blends in too much and i don't can't really see it very well but yellow is what i recommend it's just it's just what works for me so when it comes to color go with your favorite preference but anyways back to the pci and this one is just the pci inner as wedge so let's go take a look at it okay as you can see here uh this is good for people that kind of get distracted by that uh middle pci and it kind of blocks the ball a little bit this kind of gives you a little bit better view and uh yeah you can start it high and see the ball all the way in at your pitcher's hand it's a pretty good look now you can also do the same thing with the basic PCI inner as well. If you don't like wedge, this is what that looks like. Uh, pretty similar, it just gives you the basic PCI on the outside. But yeah guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, those are a lot of the PCIs that I use pretty much throughout the whole year. Uh, I know I harped on it earlier. Whenever I'm going through a slump, I like to switch my PCIs up a little bit maybe go through a little bit of a change and see if my hitting will improve. I hope one of these PCIs will help out with you. It pretty much touches on everything. You know, if you struggle with seeing the ball, if you have a PCI in the center, you can use this PCI with just an inner wedge or a basic uh, look, make you see the ball a little bit better. I also really recommend that uh, PCI outer and the center PCI for those higher difficulties, just to give you a little bit more confidence when it comes to facing those higher difficulties and make your PCI look a little bit bigger. But yeah, guys, let me know if any of these PCIs help you out. Let me know if you're gonna be using any of these. If you do, and this video did help you out, please throw a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel. It'd be much appreciated. That's it for this video. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.